Dubai ruler organized kidnapping of his children. UK court rules. The ruler of Dubai orchestrated the abductions of two of his children, one from the streets of Cambridge, and subjected his youngest wife to a campaign of intimidation. A damning UK family court judgment has found in findings that risk destabilizing diplomatic relations with the United Arab Emirates, a close Gulf ally of Britain. The actions of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid al Maktoum were described by the judge as a behavior which, on the balance of probabilities, amounts to potentially breaking UK and international law. The Guardian and other news organizations can reveal the ruling following the months of private hearings and a legal dispute that has reached the Supreme Court. It details an extraordinary family saga spanning 20 years during which the Sheikh 70 organized international kidnappings, imprisoned two of his daughters and deprived them of their liberty. Much of the 34-page fact-finding ruling by Sir Andrew McFarlane, President of the Family Division of the High Court in England and Wales, records the events surrounding the notorious disappearances of Princess Shamsa from Cambridge in 2000 when she was 19 and of Princess Latifa, who was seized by the Indian Army commandos from the Indian Ocean in 2018 when she was 32 before being forcibly returned to Dubai. The Sheikh's actions only emerged after his sixth and youngest wife, Princess Haya, 45, fled to London last April with their two children. His attempt to return the children to Dubai triggered a legal action in the family courts. Haya resisted it with a counterclaim seeking a forced marriage protection order in respect of the daughter, alleging that the Sheikh was trying to marry her off to the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman Abdulaziz Al Saud, MBS as he's better known, has been accused of involvement in the murder of dissident journalist Jamal Khashoggi. The court didn't prove this allegation to be true. McFarlane's judgment explains that his ruling may involve finding a bite on the civil standard of behavior, which is contrary to the criminal law of England and Wales, international law, international maritime law, and internationally accepted human rights forms. The civil standard is a conclusion made on the balance of probabilities that is the allegation is more likely that not to be true. It is not a finding to the criminal standard which is beyond a reasonable doubt. The judgment also raises questions about whether the Foreign Office blocked a police investigation into the disappearance of Shamsa from Cambridge in 2000. McFarlane said he was unable to make a determination because the Foreign Office refused to cooperate on the freedom of information grounds. Sheikh Mohammed's behavior was first highlighted by a Guardian article in 2001. The judgment noted adding that Haya read the story about Chamsa's disappearance in 2016, but initially didn't believe her husband was implicated. Sheikh Mohammed is the vice president and prime minister of the United Arab Emirates. He has fathered 25 children. His two with Haya are the youngest. He refused to attend any of the multiple hearings at the Royal Court of Justice in central London. His wife Haya was a constant presence in court, sitting alongside her solicitor, the prominent divorce lawyer, Baroness Shackleton. The Sheikh was represented by Lord Panic QC and another top divorce lawyer Lady Helen Ward QC used his legal team intermittently. The judgment goes into the detail about the campaign of harassment endured by Haya. The judge accepted virtually all her allegations as true on the balance of probabilities, including that the Sheikh attempted to have her abducted by helicopter, arranged for guns to be left in a bedroom, taunted her over the adulterous relationship with a bodyguard, divorced her without telling her, threatened to seize her children, published threatening poems about her online. McFarlane finds that their relationship had deteriorated and that sometime in 2017 or 2018 she embarked upon an adulterous relationship with one of her male bodyguards. In early 2019, Haya began to show interest in the fate of her stepdaughters Shamsa and Latifa. According to the judgment, her husband began to make threats against her in, in February divorced her under Sharia law without informing her. On 11th March that year, the judgment records a helicopter landed near her compound in Dubai and the pilot told her he was going to take her to Awi, a prison in the desert. Haya said that if her 
son had not been there and clung on to her leg, she would have been taken away, the judgment added. Flight documents with respect to the helicopter have been disclosed and show that one of the crew was one of the three people named by Shamsa and an employee of the Sheikh as being involved in Shamsa's removal from England in 2000. It continues throughout this period. The mother receives a series of anonymous notes left in her bedroom or elsewhere making threats. For example, take your son, your daughter is ours, your life is over, or warning her to be careful. On two occasions in March 2019, the mother states she found a gun left on a bed with the muzzle pointing towards the door and the safety catch off. In June, the Sheikh published a poem entitled you lived and died i saw it as a direct threat to her and a public announcement of her betrayal the poem stated and you have transgressed and betrayed you traitor you betrayed the most precious trust i exposed you and your games i have the evidence that convicts you of what you've done you know your actions are an insult let's see if mischief brings you benefits i care not whether you live or die McFarlane ends his judgment saying, I have concluded that, save for some limited exceptions, the mother has proved her case with respect to factual allegations that she has made. These findings taken together demonstrate a consistent course of conduct over two decades where, if he deems it necessary to do so, the father, Sheikh Mohammed, will use the very substantial powers at his disposal to achieve his particular aims.